Turns out, I mean, both of them are great friends of mine. I have not seen J-Mac do wings in a while. We see Ken Ballers all the time. I'm J-Mac is rocking the Stone Star. Do you, I, I think that's Stone. I've I, I don't. This I, is why you haven't seen him do wings. <laughs> I, I'm kind of speechless here. I have never seen. I didn't know the star existed, uh, but but it does. And actually, when you start off in RTA, you have a thousand points. And apparently, J Mac has lost a few. He's in the Stone Star bracket, but again, in the Stone Star bracket, apparently, I guess they first pick Hathor as well. So J Mac showing us that at every level, Hathor is a strong unit. I guess so. So Hathor getting first picked by J Mac. Great response coming out of Ken Ball with the Okeanos Fran. Interesting pick here. There is no Gany and no no Gany to compliment here. So he goes with that Okeanos. I think it's a little premature. J Mac going with the very uh, neutral picks of Ileana Vigor. Vigor being pretty good to be able to give him turn two control. At the same time, Ileana giving him a lot of versatility with both of these units here. Yep, well, Ken Ball looking to respond after seeing that Ileana and Vigor. Um, definitely could be seeing the Ragdoll right now. We might. We've seen it a lot from him. There's the Ciara. He's got one more pick here. Yeah, and we're going to see Sierra Ragdoll. I'm actually not sure about the Ragdoll here, just because J-Mac has not represented a lot of crits on his side. I do like that Sierra pick, because Sierra, even even though things may be on immunity, it does a lot of damage with this auto attacks with the additional damage artifacts here. J-Mac going through a really, really aggressive comp of Chiwu Daphnis. And if I'm Ken Baller looking at this, J-Mac's only weakness in this comp is his Daphnis being squishy. Otherwise, this is a very well put together comp with defense break, with heals, high speed, it's not clear who's going to take the first turn lead, so I really like J-Max's draft here. Ooh, we're seeing an Annabelle coming out of Ken Baller. I personally like the Annabelle. I think Annabelle is going to be a very strong unit, but I think the Ileana might be stopping this. Interesting pick here. We don't actually see Annabelle very much. We do see it on Ken Baller's stream, but we don't see Annabelle very much. Daphnis being the band here, so Ken Baller is basically content to go to sleep off turn one, and J-Max going to need to take advantage of this uh, with his uh, Ileana and Hathor. No speed leads for both players here. J-Max and Ken Baller, round one between the two of them, who is quicker, and it's going to be the Chibu getting not a full strip onto this uh, uh, Ciara. And actually, that just means that Ciara is going to be the first target of choice to go down. And actually, that anti-crit is going to put a dent into the Ciara. The Ciara is not going to be able to crit as much, not going to be able to do as much damage. J-Mac just needs to be able to land the defense break from the Vigor in order to take down Ciara. And that's what J-Mac is going to need to win here. Yep, that's right. So not a lot of critting with that first kill, but a crazy two-turn sleep coming out of Chiu. I mean, apparently there are two Hathors on the board at the moment. And J-Mac has gone now for the squishy unit, which I do like because this is a higher chance to land defense break and he lands that defense break onto the Fran Fran not looking very good right now and we can get a boost up coming from this Ileana we're definitely going to get a boost up and also everything's on speed lead so everything's going to go in front of this Fran Fran's going to go down here Fran is definitely going to be going down here Vigor is able to apply a lot of damage so, oh Chiwu looking to finish off the Fran Fran is not down yet but Hathor finishes off that Fran Hathor uses skill 2 to do more damage Chiwu unluckily did not get crits but doesn't matter that Fran is down Fran is down. Glancing does apply to this Okeanos. We see the additional turn coming out of Annabelle. And this is definitely a decision point here, but Ken Baller decides to go for the aggressive route. Unfortunately, does not get to slow most of J-Max's team. Oh, just one slow on the Chiwu and defense breaks out on Ileana Chiwu. Looking for a full team stun. Not receiving a full team stun with this Okeanos. No, this Okeanos, I mean, does have glancing, so 50-50 is pretty fair on it. Right now, Okeanos does not have skills. Ken Baller really needs a Sierra to pop off. Spear Devastation does land on top of the Ileana. We see a third scale primed and ready on top of this Vigor. Yeah, and Vigor does. Once Vigor lands his defense break, this is going to be a ton of damage going in. Wow, does not land defense break onto the fire unit Okeanos. That's a big miss on defense break because now this Ileana is going to go down. Yep, that's a unit that's stopping the CR from doing anything out here. And that bomb does land and removes Ileana from the field. Yeah, at this point, I actually favor Ken Baller's draft here because he does have that Annabelle, which still has heal. And he does have Sierra and Okeanos, which, which represents a lot more threat than what J-Mac has. Yep, sustain damage and control on the side of Ken Baller's team where J-Mac needs to find some windows of opportunity. J-Mac needs a proc right here to establish control. Yep, there's the attack break going on to CR. CR's bombs are not going to be landing that well. The heal block sitting on top of Okeanos. And we know that that Annabelle has heal, so Ken Baller is going to be able to pick his team up. Hathor does have sleep next, so is Ken Baller aware of it? That is the question. Yep, there is the heal sustained back on Ken Baller's side of the field. Okeanos look to drop this Chiwu. Doesn't do it yet. We get a nice skill two coming out of Vega. And that is a big bomb here. It's going to do a lot of damage at this point in the game. 
Ken Ball is going to go to sleep here, but can J-Mac take advantage of it? That's the question. Yep, Bomb is sitting atop of that Hathor, but Daily Promise is coming out. Can he get the sleep on everybody? A little bit of attack bar of resistance. And we'll see how tanky this Hathor is. Is it HP build or is it defense build? Oh, slapping the two-turn sleep once again on top of Ciara. Yeah, but again, going for that Ciara again because Ciara is a squishy unit, does need to take it out. It is again landing these two turn sleeps from Chiwu. Didn't realize there was two Hathors on this field. Did not realize there were two Hathors or they had red Hathors, but apparently they do. J-Mac landing multiple sleeps throughout this game. Insane. And I think J-Mac's going to be able to turn this around where the damage is just not in favor of Ken Baller anymore. It's definitely not. Ken Baller needs to take care of this Hathor, but there is anti-crit on Ken Baller's side here. So as long as he stays alive, Ken uh, J-Mac's going to be in a good spot. Yep, well, full team stun sitting on top of J-Mac's team right now. Okeanos looking to deal some more damage. Spear Devastation comes and lands on top of the Hathor. But another additional turn coming out of this Vigor. Looking for the defense break on Okeanos. Receives it. Yeah, and this Annabel does need to proc a couple of times here. Okeanos is going to need to pass back that defense break and hopefully kill this Hathor or this Chibu. Need to eliminate a unit now. Okeanos does pass over that defense break. The attack break does go over to that Okeanos. There are two turns coming out, Chiwu and Vigor. They're going to take out Okeanos here. It is a crit damage. Okeanos will not be able to survive. And there it is. Okeanos does drop, and Ken Baller with just one more unit. He's able to drop out that Hathor. And these are defense breaks across everything on J-Max side, so it is not over yet. Anvil just needs a proc a Oh, couple there's times. the additional turn, and finishes off the Vigor. This is not over for Ken Baller. This is not. Ken Baller has his Anvil beats Chiwu. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. We get the additional turns. He does land the sleeps. He has the heals. He has to sustain. J-Mac getting so lucky throughout this match. Coming down to the very end with a Chiwu Annabelle. Defense breaks do land. This is going to be it for J-Mac. Wow. Well done, Ken Baller. What an exciting first match. What a match here. I thought that this was over the minute Fran went down, but you know, Ken Baller was able to hang in there, do a lot. That Okeanos did a lot of damage throughout the game, uh, and Ken Baller was able to pull through, had a lot of mental fortitude, uh, and was able to hang in there. There was so many times that we thought uh, J-Mac was gonna have it. Banned from Ken Baller, not wanting to take any chances. If you don't have an LD pick and it is a free pick for your opponent, generally pretty safe to take that out of the picture. I think Ken Baller should be taking a Hathor here. Keep in mind, there is that hathor Ganey combo out in the field, so it has to be one of the others. Otherwise, you're giving J-Mac both Ganey Hathor. So yep. Ken Baller needs to split this. Yep, first pick is coming out for Ken Baller. There's that Ganey splitting up that Hathor. Hathor being taken by J-Mac along with a Fran. Yeah, very neutral pick here. I do like that Fran pick. Very neutral, very solid. Even if Ken Baller went with the Daphnis, he would be fighting a resist lead. Ken Baller does go with the Okeanos and the Patter. Solid picks over around that Okeanos counters both units and also that Sierra. Uh, so great pick by Ken Baller. Yeah, possible Ciara Daphnis coming out of J-Mac, and there it is, does confirm the Ciara Daphnis. Ken Baller looking to respond after seeing these two high damage units. Yeah, as we said, once a pattern's on the field and J-Mac knows it's coming, we know that we're going to see a Daphnis. Ken Baller goes at, with a Vanessa Triana. This is a great response. We know that Daphnis is going to stay on the field here, uh, and J-Mac here also... Uh, has to make a very strong, impactful last pick. Yep, this, I think it does have to be a very impactful last pick. Ban might be coming out on one of those Triana and Vanessa units. I would like to see some sort of a Verta Heil here and then a ban on maybe the Okeanos or the Ganymede and just cycle turns here. I think that's Jeff's Ooh. best uh, best option here. But does go with the Mi Ying, but Mi Ying is a little weak into immunity, so he's going to need a couple procs on this Mi Ying to be able to land enough damage. That may say the ban might be out on Patter on this one. There's no way you would draft a Mi Ying thinking there's going to be too much immunity out there too it's many either gonna too be, much cleansing. It's either going to be Patter or Okeanos. There we go. And the reason why you got to take out the Okeanos is because if your Fran is banned, you are absolutely controlled with a Gany Oki lockdown, and you can't have a Gany Oki lockdown. Well, speed leads are going out. J Mac Ken Baller going into round two. Let's see how this one's going to be working out. Can J Mac oh. take a victory away from Ken Baller? First turn, Hathor looking at a nice skill too. Onto the Ganymede, receives it. Ganymede doesn't proc out of it. Daphnis, is he primed and ready for that Vanessa? I think Daphnis has got to go on it and trust that the Vanessa is tanky enough to be able to take the, oh, it's not oh, tanky. it is not. The Triana Passive's obviously up. We're going to get the cleanse heal here. I think J-Mac was really hoping for it to survive. That's a rough situation in this meta. Usually Vanessa's survive Daphnis and then you have a follow-up backswing to kill it. But Vanessa actually quite 
squishy. We know that this is going to be high damage. Yep, there's the wild blow coming out onto that Daphnis. There is no sustain. There is no revive on J-Max side of the field. Looking very, very good for Ken Bala. I mean, that Daphnis is made of absolute paper. We question if it is on six runes because that went down in two attacks there. Could be just an extremely high damage Daphnis, but we'll never know at this point. And the unit of choice for J-Max is going to be trying to work down this Ganymede first. I mean, J-Max is going to need a million procs here because Ken Baller has lots of immunity, has lots of control from this Ganymede, has defense breaks coming up soon. I mean, Ken Baller is in a really good spot. Yep, Ken Baller has a lot of tools to go through this fight. Even if he doesn't get any of the violent procs, he just has the units. And that Sierra actually taking quite a lot of damage. That Triana is on crit damage, but that Sierra, again, also kind of papery, is going to go down soon, especially with this defense break. Yep, defense break sitting on top of CR and the additional turn coming up from the Vanessa, not finishing off that CR just yet. Yeah, I mean, that Sierra, again, taking off too much damage. I know Ming is an LD monster, but it is not one of the best LD monsters in the game. And so two on four looks very oh, much in favor of Ken Oh, J-Mac just not able to get anything going here. Misses the bomb on top of the Vanessa. Don't forget about Ganymede. Reventilating back onto the Triana, having that passive up still. Yeah, J-Mac needs to go for it with this Ming here. This Sierra is pretty much dead. There are two units taking turns in front of Sierra, and Sierra's going to go down. Yep, there's the wild blow on a CR. I don't know how uh, I don't know how J-Mac's going to come back from this one. Looking for an attack break on a Vanessa. Can't even land the attack break. I don't know how J-Mac's going to come back from this one either. Even if we went to DC, Ken Baller, and Ken Baller's team went on auto, I think Ken Baller <laughs> would have this match. And there you have it. We got immunity coming out here. Patter healing up a steep just a little bit. Defense break coming up for Vanessa. Is he going to land this defense break on? a win unit more than likely and does yeah it does it does land it on the hathor hathor is going to go down patter does do a lot of damage we all know this is a very well wound patter and we've seen that triana do a lot of damage so you know does unit's going to go down soon. sleep the ganymede you got great damage coming out of this me ying though capitalizing off that defense break sitting on top of the hathor and we have patter looking to do some massive damage with that wild blow dropping that hathor in is just a lonely panda yeah, and this is Miying versus the world here, but the world is four monsters, and that's too much for this Miying to handle. Gets the reset, dumps the attack fire. Triana's gonna continue focusing down this uh, Miying, gets the sleep as well. Everything going his way. Ken Baller gets the 2 0 on J Mac. I mean, what a game here. Ken Baller being very, very, very solid with his draft very patient and again punishing j max daphnis uh and unfortunately that vanessa actually maybe it was by design that that daphnis would die to that daphnis off the bat and unfortunately miscalculated by jeff there and just kind of gave the game off the bat you really Digon, what do you think yeah i think that was probably the best we've seen like that was back and forth clutch between annabelle and chiwu and again the